G'day folks, I'm sure you will remember this spoon, my capacitor bank controller. As you might have noticed, it has had a slight change, it now has a contrast pot, because I didn't need that switch. Also, uh, I've killed an Arduino in building this, and a serial backpack board, so we're running the LCD in parallel mode, and I still have enough outputs. Now, I'm still learning Arduino, and I realised I could use some of my analogue outputs, which I'm not using, as digital ones. So I'm going to power this thing up and just plug the wire in. Got to find it first. Can't do this when I'm on camera at the same time. And it goes in there. And it displays nothing. And there we are. I just the contrast to the phone can see it. And turn out this light, maybe. There we are. I'll put the phone directly above it so you can see it. Now everything's actually wired up, so if I press the charging button, you'll hear the relays click. And something else I've added. Double beep to indicate charging. Now I'm going to press the reset button on the Arduino, so I'll put the light back on. So I can find the reset button down in there and reset it, because the inverter is not connected for safety reasons, obviously. If I hit the discharge button, you can hear the contact or energize. No, maybe not. Oh yes, yep, over here you can see the relay light come on. Each time I do it. But because the bank is at zero volt, because the feedback circuit over here is connected at the back here, it's connected to the um Ah, then this is another piece I want to show you here. Uh, I'm just going to grab my torch. I'll pause for a second. Okay, back on again. Okay, now this box over here is the remote head box, and it contains the firing circuit and the voltage, regul uh, voltage feedback monitor. And it's all connected to the bank by this uh, very large and thick cable. Does this thing have a super bright mode? It does, that's better. So we've got a control cable, which is recycled the Ebonet cable, and uh, RG213 coaxial for the high voltage. You can see the bleed resistor there with its control relay. And you can hear that one click when I push the button. Put my phone right near it. So that's a big, that's a heavy duty relay, that one for discharging. And if we hit the firing switch on the machine, it now does something rather amusing. I'll turn off the light here. And you can hear the relay click. I'll just do it again. You'll see the light for the relay come on. Two, one. And that's just long enough to fire the SCR. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, the next uh, video of this will be actually um, showing the system charging and discharging the capacitors via that resistor. But due to the fact that I'm in a close-knit community here, I won't be firing it indoors or uh, in my apartment, simply because possible noise levels may cause the neighbours to call the police thinking it's a gunshot or something along those lines. But we will get a chance to fire it at some time soon when I get to take it out to Mudkey or somewhere like that. It will be completely portable. I am going to switch it off now so I can show you the insides. And also I have to um, transfer everything to this. I don't want to use my current Arduino, which is a brand new one for this project. I want to use this little Nano for the project, which has enough inputs and outputs to do it. And it's a lot smaller, so it doesn't need as much room in the case. And so inside here, it's pretty much the same. You've got your two potentiometers, your three switches, your LCD, charging circuit and transformer in the bottom. There's the loudspeaker, which I need to build some holes for so you can hear it properly. And then there's a few wires going out to the rest of the guts over here. Oh, and I popped a 5-volt regulator too, dead short. And it smoked. Uh, one of these batteries can source quite a bit of current, so I smoked the regulator. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this. And um, the next one will be charging and discharging to show you how the whole system works.